Hello Booktube, this is Alan here for Tag Tuesday, and this is the Booktuber Favorites Tag. It was uh, originally created by A Bible Files Journey, and I was tagged by Bill Rutenberg. So, let's go on with uh, prompt number one. A Booktuber you have watched the longest. And that would be Emily Fox. Emily Fox, I started watching her about, oh, Five, six years ago, when I was, uh, all, all I did was work, uh, watch TV, uh, watch book two on a flip phone, and write stories. That's all I did. And I started with, uh, YouTube, because that's, that was the only thing on, at the time, on YouTube, <laughs> was, uh, YA novels. People would going with YA, and I started watching Jesse the Reader, until he started getting sponsored, and then when he got sponsored, then he couldn't say anything bad about the books, <clears throat> I don't think he said anything bad about the books anyway, so Emily Fox had a, is from Canada, the Toronto area, and she had a uh, beauty channel, and then she started a booktube channel, now she could criticizes a lot of the YA books, which I agreed with her, like uh, Sarah J. Moss's books, Court of Thorns and Roses, she couldn't stand it, and I couldn't either, and she also reads a lot of science fiction, which I don't, and she likes Brandon and Sanderson, so there's, she's not perfect. A uh, book to where you just started watching, well, that would be uh, Irina McRaderen, I just started watching her. A book to be become friends with. Well, the only thing I'm friends with is laundry because laundry is always there for you. A uh, book to be won't be there for you all the time. A book to be you just you get most of your book recommendations. That would be a lot of people because I just don't get recommendation just from one person. <clears throat> I got a book recommendation from Steve Donahue about uh, JFK. And so I, I purchased the book, and the book was horrible. It was terrible. S but I, I did get book recommendations because uh, Todd, Todd's Burston, Bur Burston Bookcase uh, was doing a book tour, and showed his Michael Grant books, one about Rome and one about Egypt and Greece, I believe. And so I went and, uh, and got those. And also uh, Jason, the Five Ways in Bookland, was showing uh, his book tour, bookshelf tour, and I got a couple from there. <coughs> so if, the, if you show your bookshelf tours, people might be interested some of the books you had for their own personal library. And also Peg at the History Shelf. There are some books that she had that uh, I said, oh, that looks interesting. Uh, where am I? Okay. Five is uh, problem number five is the booktuber you watch, you read, the genre you don't. Well, I'm going to get more specific, specific here instead of general. I don't read American history. I'm not in the American Civil War, the American Revolution, the Vietnam War, the Korean War, Spanish-American War, uh, American presidents. I really can, don't care about uh, anything about America. I'd, really don't care about, even though I've read uh, David McCollum's book on John Adams and Harry Truman, and I read um, one book on the American Civil War, uh, forgot the name of it, Mass Market Paperback, and I forgot the name of it, but yeah, uh, Bill Rutenberg, when he does, because he's a history teacher, and he teaches majority of his books are about the American history 
So, none of my interest in American history, but I get some uh, learn more about that. Uh, <clears throat> Peg at the History Shelf does uh, uh, books about South America, about Africa, Sudan. Uh, Jean D. Steadfast did uh, one about the history of uh, Africa and colonialism, about uh, the Zulus, was I found fascinating. The uh, uh, Mark Richardson and Richardson Reads, reads uh, science fiction, which I dipped my toe into. And uh, he also did uh, comic books. And he also has, uh, he did uh, Star Trek, which I've watched the original series, Star Trek, and haven't watched, and watched some, <coughs> excuse me, some Star Trek episodes with uh, Captain Janeway, that one, just a couple of those. But I haven't read, watched any of the others. Um, I'm trying to think of others that I've watched that I don't read a genre of. Uh, Eric Carl Anderson. He reads fiction and a lot of uh, new releases because he was a judge at the Costa Book Awards. And he also is interested in and other book awards, other book prizes. So he reads a lot of uh, newer type fiction that comes out. Uh, let me see. Uh, Booktubers videos make me happy. I'm going to skip that one. Uh, a booktuber you'd love to do a book uh, buddy read with. There are a couple of them. Uh, Maybe James Holder, maybe Lexa Reeds, maybe uh, Karen Evans, uh, Emily Fox, as she as again, uh, as she doesn't do buddy reads. Uh, there are a couple of others that I can't think of. Uh, Booktuber with over a thousand subscribers. There are several here. There's Johnny Keen. There's Book and Things. There's Emma Rosen. There's Eric Carl Anderson. There is a uh, uh, Jason and Bobby's Bookland. There is a uh, <clears throat> uh, Mark Richardson and Richardson Reads. And under a thousand subscribers, which I watch more of than over a thousand subscribers, there's a the book Zealots, Ms. Duncan McCurdy, James Hoder, Karen Reeds, Evans, excuse me, Karen Evans, Lexa Reeds, Faith in Books, Enthusiastic Reader, there's Savia Akim, who's up in Canada and uh, her name and she goes by the title of Saba the book reader oh there's one more over a thousand subscribers that's uh, Sarah the book is knitter uh, Sarah's channel does a lot of romance reads I enjoy watching her channel well, that's it for the uh, Booktuber Favorites tag. I thank you to uh, Bill Rutenberg for tagging me, and have a good day.